and welcome back to echo rp so in the last video we finally started a little bit of a grow up over at our house which we need to go check on and we also did a little bit more chop shopping got quite a bit more loose notes which i think we're finally going to be cleaning today i believe we are up to i think like 132 of them so we have a decent amount enough that is worth cleaning now i have already figured out where the location is for the money laundering off camera uh no let me know in the future if you guys would like me to do that on camera so you guys can get the whole experience but i figured we would try and get just right into the action today and hopefully not have too many hiccups so we're all set to go pretty much all we got to do is go grab the dirty cash uh now before we do do that though i did want to head back to our apartment because we did have a little bit of a grow up going uh and it wasn't there this morning so i left town quite a bit and hopefully coming back will make them show again unless they all died out because i wasn't on last night so i'm not sure if they unfortunately did pass away but uh either way let's head over to the motel check on our little grow and uh see if we can grab anything from our inventory and then we should be good to go head over to our apartment grab the cash and uh we should be good to start laundering either way i'll see you guys once we are back at our motel real fast and we are back and our plants are still not here so i think unfortunately they did die i think i messed up and i did not water them last night so that might have screwed us over uh is it worth us getting a batch going now uh, we do have five fertilizer, we only have one water though, so probably can't do it right at the moment. Uh, but we do have some more seeds, don't we? Or, okay, never mind, we are all out of seeds. Well, I mean, we have enough joints, I think, to last us a while. We have the Phoenix flowers, and we can just roll a bunch more Phoenix ones if we need. So we're pretty much set on our whole weed situation for quite a while. Uh, now, I do have our gun on us. I'm actually, wait, actually, let's leave this fertilizer home. I don't know why I have it with us. Quickly put the fertilizer back. Uh, I'm going to put two of the repair kits back. I'm guessing we're not going to need more than one. I think we'll be okay. Uh, actually, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. Let's just bring two of them in case. Uh, we have our Beretta. We can drop this plastic off that we don't need. And I think we are good to go. I will see you guys once we're over back at the apartment. Seeing how many notes we have, I think we have like 132. I could be wrong on that, but, uh, let's head over there real quick, grab our notes, and then, uh, we're gonna do some money cleaning. I'll see you guys once we're back over at our good old apartment. Back at the good old apartment. Looking like the apartment usually does. There's a freaking car upside down down there's a blown up car down the road yeah at least it's uh, just the usual apartment stuff so let's quickly head in and see how many we're up to okay 132 i was correct so now all we gotta do is grab this and then i'm pretty sure the spot we go to we're gonna need some cash on us we should have plenty of cash to do this. We're going to be doing Vicodin runs, apparently, uh, is what I was told it is. Now, I'm not sure the whole process. I just know we go there with our bills and we're able to clean them. That's pretty much all I know. So let's head back on our bike. Hopefully don't get kidnapped right outside the apartments. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. We're taking a couple umbrellas with us before we leave, though. All right. Yeah, let's get out of here. I, I just do not like the apartments. Too much of a little bit of a sketchy spot. So I'm going to head up to the money cleaning place. Uh, hopefully the info I got was correct. And I don't mess it up like I did with the shop shop info where we go to the wrong area. I'm pretty sure I know this one is the good spot or the right spot. So uh, let's head up. It's all the way up in Sandy. So it's going to be a little bit of a drive. And uh, I'll meet you guys once we are up there. Alrighty, so I just went past the area and unfortunately there's like literally five or six people there So what we're gonna do is like we're just gonna probably head up here For just like a couple minutes wait for the area to die down at least a little bit Now I don't think you have to go there during a certain time period I'm pretty sure we can go there wherever so we're just gonna head up here We're gonna wait about five six seven eight minutes and then hopefully Everyone is cleared out from the area and we're good to go hopefully everything goes well we're gonna have a sip of our water as well and then uh if everyone clears out we should be good to go start this run and uh see how it goes all righty so it's been a little bit of time now i'm hoping that there is no one here although again it might be a gang or something maybe taxing is what i was guessing as i was thinking for a little bit but let's see Let's not get freaking rammed. So there's a dominator out here. So people are definitely around here. Let's see if anything sketchy is about to happen. 
All right, E, start a Vicodin run. A vehicle has been dropped off for your GPS. Okay, so I need to grab that. So let me go park my bike. So let's lock that bike up. And then we're supposed to take this stolen vehicle. And let's see how we do this. So first drop off. Oh, wow. This oh, wow. Okay, this truck does not handle well. Not the biggest fan. Uh, our first drop off seems to be... I swear I just saw it. Okay, it's over at the uh, power station. Okay. Oh, okay. This explains a lot. So when we were doing the electricity job a couple episodes ago, probably like a week ago at this point, I did see someone hand something to someone here. So that would explain what that guy was doing. It was not part of that whole shootout thing, I don't think. Or at least uh, hopefully not, unless we're getting this, us into something a little bit bigger than we thought. But we're going to see how many we can clean per per delivery i guess we have 132 loose notes on us at the moment so let's head over there and uh, see how these little uh, vicodin runs go i'll see you guys once we're at the first location all right so we're almost there uh now as we're heading over there i do want to say something a little interesting so i've already pretty much uh, ran into or almost ran over about three or four gang members and each one of them has literally just been like it's okay like no problem it was an accident which is uh, nice to see on a server with a bunch of gangs. All the gangs aren't like complete assholes if you mess up them by accident. So we'll hit E. Oh, 940 bucks. Wait, wait, 940 bucks for 10. Oh, wait a second. We're going to be making like 12K from this. Oh, okay. This is actually good. This is actually good. All right, where's our next drop off? Uh, up here. Let's head up there and uh, continue with this. Okay, so the car chopping does actually pay out good money. It's just obviously uh, we got to do this at the end of it. Let's head to the next location, though. See how much we keep getting. Alrighty, on to the next drop-off. Again, we got around 960 for the last one. These drop-offs are actually really nice as well with the local just spawning there when you get there. And let's see how much we get from this one. How much should we get from that one? uh did he not take notes okay so not every time it seems like they take notes i'm guessing it's just like a random chance or like every other run or something like that uh let's actually figure it out so they took the loose notes at the first drop off didn't take it at the second let's see what happens with the third all right so here's the next one let's turn this in as well is he gonna take our money thousand oh, dollars for 14 notes okay so it's a little random about how much they take i also wanted to see can you actually go inside this building i figured it's worth a check no and no housing okay so there's a house here okay that was just interesting house i was just a little curious again we will go to our house selves a house at some point and honestly i have seen some people's houses in this and the decoration and uh the furniture system and everything is absolutely insane like, there's some crazy stuff you can do. You can put in walls and everything like that. It's a pretty crazy system. Uh, but again, for now, let's keep going on. One day, we'll get ourselves a house. Let's go to the next run and see if it's just like every other run or if it's random. Let's check it out. Alrighty. This one's a little, a little sketchier. It's inside the building. Here we go. And... Okay, so he took it and gave us 16... Oh, we actually got five Vicodin for that as well, which I don't think we've gotten any of yet. Does it say what it does? Uh, it does not say what it does. I'm guessing it gives you most likely health. And yeah, I'm guessing that. And maybe it drains your water or something. Uh, we'll have to try that out at some point if we get injured. But let's keep continuing on. So it seems like two of those just grabbed our notes. Both of them. And it seems like the most notes we've had taken at once is 14. Let's keep going and see if we can maybe get some more. And is he going to take our notes? Let's see. Yes, he is. It's another thousand bucks. All right, we're making some good money from this. We've made around three grand. We're down to 85 notes. So we've got around three grand from around 25, 30 notes, right? No, from like 45 notes. Okay, my math was a little off there. Uh, wow, where is this next one? Okay, all the way up in Polito. Let's head up there real quick as well. Again, it seems like it's kind of random to when they take your notes and how much they do. I'll probably just do like one or two more on screen if you guys, and then I'll probably just do the rest off camera so you guys don't have to obviously. Oh, oh, that is a nice car. So uh, you guys obviously don't have to uh, sit through us doing all the drop offs. Let's uh, keep doing it. We'll do again just one or two more on camera, and then I'll do the rest off actually quickly just since this is on the way over i figured it'd be probably smart to stop off at an atm 
and deposit a little bit of money just so if we do get robbed or anything happens we will be okay so let's put in another 3k boom bank account should be going up there we go up to 14k i also wanted to grab a little bit of food while we're doing all these runs so let's grab oh wow that's expensive let's grab two hamburgers we really should just be buying these from actual places just because it's a lot cheaper and two waters there we go uh wait we still have a thousand on us okay never mind let's put a little bit more in let's put in another thousand there we go we should be up to 15k all right we're all we're on the up and up finally for once making a little bit of money again i might just want to do like a couple hours of card shopping off camera and then sell all the stuff and then turn all the loose notes in in one episode and just make a ton of money that might be our plan because again so far our real only money making method that actually seems to make us decent money is shop shopping we do want to expand our uh, money making at some point but for now this is this is what we were given and uh, it seems like it's making us some decent money again let's head to the next point and check it out Alrighty, so again the next drop off should be right here i'm guessing it's behind this little gate there we go and he takes 11 for 935 and we got another five viking now i'm guessing we can probably also sell the viking i'm not sure how much that sells for though or if it's even worth it or maybe we should just keep it for ourselves if it does give you some health back which i'm guessing it does um yeah we'll do one more location wait actually is this something i just noticed the local here one second what is this what is this got some germs oh wait so we can craft i'm confused do we craft the fertilizer into this stuff or is it the other way around i think it's the other way around i think we craft fertilizer here but that's that's nice to know it's always nice finding some more hidden locations again let's go do one more drop off and then i'll do probably the rest off camera we'll see if we can get lucky maybe he takes like 20 notes or something i just want to see if that's a possibility all right again we're gonna just do one last run to see if maybe we can get lucky so i think i think the most i've seen them take is 14 bills maybe he can take he takes none of them okay uh you're walking into me i am walking into you bud you didn't clean any of my bills so i got another 74 bills let's see how much cash we're at right now we're at around a thousand bucks so we're gonna clean again the rest of these 74 bills and see how much we get again leaving off of a thousand so anything over a thousand is going to be what we got from these 74 loose notes i'm gonna go spend probably the next 20 30 minutes maybe even more getting it all done and i will see you when wait actually is it not giving us the next location wait a second it is not giving us a next location and the guy said we're all out of buyers at the time so i'm not sure if that means that we're done with our run and we can't do any more till maybe the next tsunami or what uh yeah okay never mind i guess i'm not gonna do the rest off camera let's head back to the money cleaning area and see if we can restart the job or if we can only do it maybe like once per tsunami something like that let's go uh oh my let's go check it out and we are back and there is an lspd helicopter so maybe not the time wait uh what the heck there's literally a helicopter all right we're just gonna act like a local in this case there's literally a helicopter there i think are they trying to land and get gas or what is going on what the heck is this helicopter doing it's just like chilling it's definitely not a local because i don't think locals ever drive the police helicopters oh wait it's dipping okay that was a little weird i'm guessing maybe they were trying to get gas or something is it gone yeah it's gone it's gone it's gone okay that was a little interesting nice pd chopper okay i'm i'm hoping they were trying to just get gas i don't see them coming back so let's see if we can do this again real fast all righty let's talk to him again not the time to do this okay so maybe what time is it right now it's like let's get out of here first it's a little too a little too sketchy being here uh let's check out what time it is so it is 12 20 right now 
so i'm not sure when it opens up we're gonna have to find that info out i'm guessing maybe you can only doing it do it during the daytime because again it is the nighttime now so that might be the reason uh either way let's drop off i'm guessing the rest of our loose notes back at our motel and uh, i guess continue from there we might have to go there again in the morning just wait it out oh my we almost just got ran over and just wait it out i'm not sure how long it lasts for either way though i'll see you guys once we are back at the motel and we are back at the motel now oh wait what is this wait oh this is new sell okay maybe okay maybe we keep the viking and we try and sell it that's i think that's what we're gonna do next okay so that's something new now before we do do anything though uh we still have a thousand we have to put away but i figured we will be a little bit responsible and first of all check our motel status how many days do we have left so it ends tomorrow okay so we are going to have to renew extend our stay by seven days for another 2500 there we go again we're going to be spending some money but it allows us to keep this a little bit more of a secure area as our house now what we're going to do quickly is drop off all of our loose cash into our stash of course i forgot to lock that last time so again let's drop off the 74 loose notes uh again i promise i am going to be organizing this inventory at some point but i've just been a little lazy uh so getting 74 loose notes in there now we do have the pills i want to try and sell them and see what we can get because maybe we're going to be making a little bit more money than we thought let me get out of here there we go and that locked the door yes it did perfect and i was also thinking that uh it seemed like we were getting around a thousand dollars sometimes a little less sometimes a little more per around 10 notes so what we could offer is we could try going to some gangs and i'm sure a bunch of gangs get like a ton of these notes and just don't want to run them through because they probably have other stuff that makes them more money so what we could do is become a sort of laundromat service where kind of they give us let's say like a, like a hundred of the uh loose notes and then we give them back like seven grand but it saves them all the time of having to go around and obviously wash the bills i'm guessing there's already a couple people who do this service but we could try and go to some gangs and ask around at some point and maybe start cleaning a bunch of money for gangs and then obviously maybe we'll get more trusted by the gangs maybe in the future become a member uh we definitely want to join a gang in the future at some point but we really just haven't had too too much uh criminal rp just yet to find a gang that will suit us oh there is a gang i've heard called the gamblers and uh if they actually do anything with gambling and that's the one that we'd probably want to join i have heard they have good rp but either way we're gonna have to figure out everything i see and uh see how uh we know we interact and get along with different groups of people either way though what i think we're gonna do now is try and figure out how we actually do the sell drugs thing uh i think it's gonna be a little too risky to do in the city so what we're gonna do is head a little bit up north and see if we're able to just you know start selling drugs and then sell them to locals or if we have to do it in a specific area either way let's uh, head up somewhere a little bit more secure and see if we can figure this out all righty so we've gone to uh all the way up in sandy at this little store and there shouldn't be too many cops around here and still a decent amount of locals that come by so let's see how this works so if we just f1 and then sell uh so which one are we gonna start selling wow there's a couple different ones so we can sell the bag we okay so that's good i don't know how we make the bagged because again we did have the scale and we weren't able to turn it into that so that's gonna be a little confusing i'm not we're gonna have to figure out how to make that as well and let's start selling some v buyers are awaiting you a marker has been placed on your oh okay okay so it's i thought it was the version where you kind of just sit around and locals will come up to you it seems they have a little bit of a different version here so again we only have 10 vicodin we're gonna see how much money we can make from it though and maybe doing the money laundering will actually make us a lot more money than we thought like if this stuff sells for something decent we might be actually making some good money but uh let's head over to the first drop off for this and uh see what we get again we did see that we could sell the bagged weed so we're gonna have to figure out how to bag our stuff up as well but maybe it's only strands certain strands i'm not too sure either way though let's uh, head to this first drop off though and uh see what we get and see how much they actually take because uh oh my Oof, that was a little scary but uh let's head over to the first drop off if we can make it over there alive all right so our first drop off should be over here okay let's see how this happens 
uh oh okay we have to wait for buyers to approach us okay so we're given a location all right so if we hear a single siren we just got to get on our bike and dip i have filled it up fully when we were in sandy so we still should be pretty good in our gas let's just double check yeah we're pretty much full in gas we're gonna angle this so if we need to we can dip easily oh my that scared me we can dupe easily so let's hit e to trade see how much we get make sure no cops are around okay a little bit of a skill okay just one so we sold three for a crypto usb stick and 300 dollars i'm not sure how much or what the crypto usb sticks are for i think tomorrow that's what we're going to figure out or in the next episode here's another one trade with him and if we see anyone coming over here we are dipping as fast as possible it's gonna be a little awkward though for in this because i don't know if we can just get out of this menu there we go let's trade off her as well so he just removed one for 90 so it looks like we make about 100 bucks per so nothing worth anything there's someone going by so another five we only have one left that was 440 bucks so we get around I'd say like 80. Is that guy still coming? No. Okay. I think he dipped. All right. So this should be our last sale here. So we'll wait for her to come up. And for our last one, what are you going to give me? Let's see. Still scare me a little bit. People coming in. It seems like it's pretty easy though. It doesn't seem like the system's too hard. Uh, this person wanted four, but you didn't have enough. Okay. So we're going to have to have a lot of this stuff. It seems. Let's see if we can just sell one and maybe... We can get one guy who just wants one. Let's see. No, okay. So it's only going to be worth it if we have a decent amount. Can we stop selling them? Yes, yeah, stop trading. There we go. Uh, cooldown applied for quitting with unsatisfied customers. Okay, so we probably want a lot more of the stuff before we actually start selling. I didn't realize it was like that. Uh, now, we do have another two of these crypto USB sticks. We've gotten a couple of them as well from the chop shopping. And I still don't know what they're used for. Now, I was told there was something to do with the second floor, I think, of like Life Invader. But I went there and I didn't seem to find anything. So I'm not too sure. Uh, either way, I think that's going to actually be about it for today's episode. We definitely made a little bit of money. Our bank is now up to... Let's see how much... We did have to pay to extend our motel stay. But we are at 13000 bucks, So looking pretty decent. Uh, now, hopefully these crypto sticks are actually worth something as well. And we're going to try and figure that out in the next episode. I also want to figure out a couple other things. We might try and uh, talk to a gang or two about possibly washing bills for them since oh sorry because it seems like that might be a needed service so i think that's what we're going to probably work on in the next one figuring out the crypto and then maybe starting a little bit of a laundering business because hopefully that'll be a good way to make for us to make money with not much risk because the runs didn't seem too risky at all uh but either way hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and if you did as always make sure to leave a like and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video.